Hi, everyone. I'm Scott Hope. Welcome to highlights of our coverage of Mecham Auctions Kissimmee Summer Special from Osceola Heritage Park. The 2023 Dodge Challenger and a $140,000 bid. That is uh, the super stock from the folks at SRT, the 807 horsepower supercharged Hemi. Part of the last calls, which all the 2023s are, but not one of the seven limited edition last call additions. So $150,000, so $150,000 hammer price. And now to the 99 Shelby Series 1. And this is a car really that any collector of significant cars really ought to consider adding to the collection. As Chris had mentioned, this was a car that was designed and built by Shelby from scratch. And no Ford components or Chrysler Corporation components, both of which he was heavily involved with. He went with a General Motors engine in this one, an Olds Aurora 4-liter, pretty high-tech engine, four-valve per cylinder, double overhead cam, still a lot of technology by today's standards, six-speed manual transmissions, only 249 of these were built. So, Very ultra-collectible today, and that is strong money for a non-supercharged Shelby, $150,000. Wow. Corvette Custom from 1957. As part of the build, they... Uh, did not decide to use the original frame. It's difficult to adapt an original frame to modern suspension and power plants. So they went with one from the folks at Street Shop, which makes the installation of that engine, the modern era LS6 engine. Also the modern brakes and suspension components easier to do. No automatic transmission here, guys. That's a five speed manual. Vintage air conditioning in place, power steering, which is not available in 1957. In fact, 63 was the first year for optional power steering in a Corvette. So 180 pounds a dollar, so Well, there we go. $180,000. 1969 GTO Carousel Red GTO Judge Ram Air 4. Big car, final top, very rare, but it's all about that Rammer 4, four-speed combination. Now, keep in mind, the standard engine, the judge, is already an upgraded Rammer 3 at 366 horsepower. The Rammer 4 engine puts it into a different category for collectors. 239 of these were built. The hardtop versions with the four-speed and the Rammer 4 option. So, 180 pounds an hour. So Ooh, big wow. money, huh? Very happy uh, new owner of that GTO Judge Ram 4 right there. Yeah. At $180,000. The 2018 one year only Dodge Demon, of which 3,000 were built, built for the U.S. market, was an instant collectible and will continue to be that way going right in the future. 840 horsepower is the rating of that 6.2 liter supercharged engine built, but this one just under 3,000 miles. That is not typical. Usually they have very low mileage, and I like that because this car's been driven, and it will allow anybody to go out and drive it and enjoy the sensation operating this car without hurting the value by putting miles on it. So, 180 pounds. 180 was the hammer price for the Demon. Okay, here is a uh, customized Dodge Super B from 1969. Very heavily modified car here. This is going to be, this is a six-figure-plus car. This is a very serious build. Let's start on the hood. What looks like an original Hemi, the configuration, you look in there and only just a couple of areas don't look original, but they've they wanted to maintain that original look on this build, whereas we're already blasting well over $100,000. That's a genuine Hemi's car, originally not built with a Hemi brand new, but doesn't fret, prevent anything from, you know, somebody from putting one in. It's also got air conditioning, which is not available in a Hemi, but certainly thanks to the aftermarket, that is available. It's a, a classic torque flight automatic transmission. The engine, even though it looked relatively stock, has been very heavily modified in the inside. 200. Wow. There we go. I think we're going to see a deal here. That's a big jump. And uh, he wants Jamie, it. Yeah, Jamie McLeod's guy on the other end going for that knockout punch for sure. Reserves off at $200,000. Wow. We're still in. I think that did it. That we did might it. very we well it. be the magic number, and it is. That did it. Good advice there from Jamie McLeod on the telephone with that bidder to say it'll go 200 and knock him out, and it did. 
2023 Corvette. Kind of a double whammy here. We got a, we've got a Z06 and a 70th anniversary coupe going. Yep, and it's got five miles on the odometer, blending that super desirable Z06 package with the 70th anniversary coupe. Available in two colors, by the way. This white pearl and also in uh, carbon flash, the charcoal. We see more of them, seem to see more of them in the white pearl. And it will stay right there. 210,000 for the Z06 70th anniversary, 2019 911 GT3. One of the world's most impressive performance cars right here, especially when you factor in the old school three pedal manual transmission. Special ordered. 675 miles on the odometer, that four liter flat six mounted in the rear, putting out an incredible 500 horsepower. It absolutely shrieks when you start getting up into the higher RPM registers. It is literally brand new. And how about those colors? It's guards red, a traditional Porsche color, but the interior they've taken and they've taken some of that guards red into the interior on top of the black. That is a dream car by anybody's standard right there. Sold $220,000. Sold $220,000 internet. All right. Mark it up for $220,000. Potential big money here. Let's talk pro touring all the way here, Professor, on this 68 over the top Roadrunner. Yeah, it's a real Roadrunner, not a satellite with Roadrunner badging. They have gone stem to stern with this thing. A Gen 3, 6.4 liter Hemi with a Pro Charger, Supercharger. They're running mild boost right now, but it is adjustable and you can really get that cranked up. 4L80E automatic transmission. And they have gone completely through this, Chris. We're at $220,000. <laughs> and that's well represented because this car is stellar. And you mentioned it's got that option of drivability and performance with that adjustment. Sold 240,000, sold. 200, so 240 is the actual number. Here is, I believe, our one and only Ford GT at this Kissimmee Summer Special. Yep, I believe that you are correct. First of the two-year run of this generation Ford GT. That Centennial White, love those blue stripes. Those were an option, one of the four. Odometer just under 3,000 miles. I like that. Yes. Been driven a bit, not a lot. BBS wheels, another option. Painted calipers there, another option. And then inside, the Macintosh stereo completes that. All of these were six-speed manual transmissions. All of them had the same engine at 550 horsepower, 5.4 liter. Supercharged Ford V8, mid-mounted. Yeah, it's a mid-engine car with the rear Ricardo transaxle. 420. You want to go 415? Hey, hey, hey. No, I got 415. I'll take that. Now 20. Now 20. 15, 20. Okay. Done deal. There it sell it. is. There's our new top seller. Wow. 420,000, Chris. 420,000. So that would have had a MSRP back in 2005 in the $160,000 range, and it just sold today for $415,000. And that will wrap it up for this edition of Mecham Accelerated. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Scott Hoke. So long, everyone.